We will add a label on the left side and on the right side with a plugin in React Chart.js. So let's start to put in the labels for our gauge chart. So what I want to do here, number zero and here, number nine. Why number nine? Because this is three plus six equals nine. So to do this, I need to create a uh, plugin. So I'm going to say your plugins equals curly braces and then brackets. Why? Because we have an array here. You can have more than one plugin. So I'm going to say here the gauge labels, copy that. And then I'm just going to put in here and work on this. I'm going to say constant for this label object and then ID, although I won't be using the ID, so we can just ignore this for now. And then when we would like to draw this, we say here before data sets, draw. Before we draw the data set, we draw the labels ahead or first. So then we're going to say a chart, arcs and plugin uh, options. And once we have this, what I want to do is an object destructuring. So if you're not familiar with object destructuring, make sure you watch my video understanding chart just object destructuring, since I will not explain this here. So then I have this here, I have the CTX, I probably have the chart area we need. Chart area, and in the chart area, I need the left and right position, and we might need the data later on. So now what I want to do here is I say CTX, dot save to save the variables and then we're going to say ctx dot let's draw the text the first one will be the zero so ctx dot, dot uh, font to define the font family so for this this is a string we can say here bold because we want the bold design and let's say 15 pixels and font family sans serif so once we have this we're going to say here the color so we say fill style and we can say here this will be um r GB on, on let's make it gray. It's simple. British gray. And then I'm going to say a CTX dot um, fill text in parentheses and we put in here the text. So the text here will be zero and then we need here the X and Y coordinates. Luckily we can get all of these here. The first one for the left side because we want to align to the left. We say here left for X but the y must be exactly the center coordinate here. We can grab this by a default functionality that chart.js yes has. So I'm going to say chart dot uh, get data set meta index zero and then we say dot data index zero dot y and uh, and then let's put it in here and we say dot y. So once we did this we save this refresh all right, as you can see here, we have now the item here working, but it's overlapped. So I'm going to push it down. So how do we push this down? So what I'm going to say here is to push this down is basically we need to have the baseline adjusted. CTX, the text baseline here. And I'm going to say here, we're going to push it or at least ignore the entire top and push it to the bottom. So we need to set here the value of top. By doing that, you can see here it pushes it down However, in my opinion, this is still very near, close to the line here. Let's give it a five pixel padding. How do we do that? Let's say here, plus five, and this will push the value down. Now we have this. The next one is the opposite direction. To do this, we could basically copy this item here. We can say here the right side, and we put in here the value of number nine. Later on, I will soft code this. And then if I save this, you'll see it will not work. And the reason why it doesn't work is because here I have the alignment of left, meaning that this is the starting point and goes to the right side. So basically it goes here, starting point, and then like that. So what we need to do is we need to change the alignment here. However, here we have a CTX. We have to make sure we set both alignments immediately. So we say CTX dot um, text align equals left. That's the first one, but then Afterwards, I'm going to say here another one, and this will be right. If I save that, refresh, now it works. So this works nicely, but let's uh, let's make this more dry because we have here redundancy. So I'm going to build a function in here. So I'm going to say a function, and this function will be the labels function. And then in here, I'm just going to cut out the entire code. I'll put it in there. And once I did that, I need to uh, make here some parameters. So here we have a few parameters. First of all, the text parameter. And what we have more is we will have here probably the alignment. 
So let's call this alignment parameter. And finally, we have here the position. So we're going to put them in there. And then what I will say here is the following labels to activate it. But then we have here the text. The text will be uh, a string value zero, comma. Then we have the alignment. And the alignment was based on this. So that's a string value left, comma. And I have the position, which is a variable left because of the chart area constant. So this is very important. So this is just a left, but not, but it's a variable. So no strings here. Once we did this, I'm going to get here the position, put the position in here. Then I get the alignment, put the alignment in here. And we get the text and put the text in there. If I save this, let's comment out these two and see if it works. There you are, nothing really changes, but behind the scenes we did a lot. So now what I can do is just copy this, do the same thing with number nine, and I will soft code this later on, so don't worry. We're going to put that one in there, and I guess the alignment should be on the right side. So if I save this, refresh, now we have nine here and zero here. Since this zero is always the default, the nine is the only one that we need to soft code. What I'm going to do here is just calculate the sum. So what I will do is, I'll just say here, you can just do it in here. I'll say, and that's the reason why I had the data here. So I'll say a uh, constant sum is, or uh, the data, and this data is a reference to data here. We just go to the data, data sets from data dot data sets index zero dot data. I say index zero and then we do also because now you only have two values I make it very simple there's another way to calculate an array uh, to sum the array value since there's only two values I'll just make it like this very straightforward this sum here would be the value of 3 plus 6 so then what we can do here instead of 9 you can put in sum save refresh and there you are what we could do here final would be maybe uh, indicating here I'm going to use uh, template literals. I'm going to say here, this will be dollar sign like that. All right. Now I'm going to say here value. Save, refresh. Now we have value on both sides, and that's it. 